Happy Friday, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took down Southerly City's gym, and we also got Kuza the Leafeon. So in today's episode, I'm actually going to go ahead and level up Daenerys. Now, as you guys know, we have to get the HM Fly on a Pokemon in order to be able to make our way to the new resort, the Palm Tree Resort. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and level up Daenerys to level 50, which I know is a really, really high level, but we needed a Pokemon. Pokemon to learn fly so with that guys Daenerys is evolving so at long last it looks like we are going to have a roster full of fully evolved Pokemon which is going to be really really cool this is something that I've been waiting for for quite a while and I'm actually really excited about it and there it is guys look at that beast look at that machine with that guys congratulations our Daenerys evolved into Salamance and now we have a Salamance on our team as well so we are looking quite good now Salamance once we reach level 50 automatically learns the move fly so it's like we didn't even need the hm it was meant to be with that guys we're gonna forget dragon breath and we learned fly and now we're able to make our way to the palm tree resort which is only available by flying there which is kind of weird since i guess all the team fusion grunts were blocking out the place we can only fly there let's go ahead and make our way to the palm tree resort then i believe that is the only place we need to go to for now so let's go ahead and make our way there and see what is going on here there's definitely some team fusion grunts Rodri, I'm so glad I managed to see you. Team Fusion's about to put their plan in action. My dad, he wants to catch Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. Sigh. From what I can tell, dad will be firing a beam of electricity from his lab to Haunted Rock, Temporal Tower, and Spatial Ruins, which should awaken the trio. He tasked me with capturing Dialga. I've already contacted Blake. He's going for Giratina. Please, would you go to Spatial Ruins and save Palkia? It's just south of the city. I, I better go. Pidgeot, use fly. And it looks like we have been tasked in order to save a couple legendary Pokemon. So we have to make our way to the Spatial Ruins. It looks like us, Blake, and Henry, we're on a bit of a team here. So we're gonna have to team up in order to stop all of Team Fusion's evil plans. There also seem to be a gym here. So that's probably something that we're gonna have to take care of next time because I'm mainly focused on seeing what the heck Michael and Regina are doing. Who knows, they seem to be really weird. This whole Team Fusion thing being run by Michael's family. I gotta tell you guys, it's a little bit out there, a little bit random, but I think it's also kind of cool that we haven't seen something of that sort in any other, you know, Pokemon story yet. So it's kind of cool to see. Now, where exactly are the spatial ruins? I know we have to make our way there, but I don't know where exactly it is we need to go. I know they said south of the city, so it's probably this way. This looks about right. We are at the spatial sea. It looks like we're going to have a battle coming up, though. So let me go ahead and just prepare a little bit. We're probably going to have a lot of battles today. So let's go ahead and take on the first ones. Cranky and Kuza up in front. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so there we have it. It looks like our Pokemon uh, are gonna have a little bit of a tough time around here. It looks like we are finally reaching that point where the other trainer's Pokemon are about to, you know, reach us or even surpass us. So I'm excited for that. It'll be some good XP. This must be the place, and it looks like we're gonna have to battle a couple grunts. Okay, with that, guys, let's go ahead and take on the next one, too. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and make our way inside. And we have arrived in the Spatial Ruins. Now, it looks like there's going to be a lot of doubles battles, which is actually a little bit surprising. I thought we were just going to have to do one-on-ones. This looks like... A pretty decent setup. I think Cheeky and Gilligan should be good to go. I think that'll be pretty good. I'm also going to give Gilligan the XP share. Gilligan actually got left behind in levels as soon as we brought Kuza in. So we could use a little bit of training. Let's take them on.
Okay, these are actually really tough battles here inside of this place. I'm pretty glad that we do have an OP Daenerys ready to go if needed, which I don't think will be. But let's go ahead and take this guy on. There we go. Let's keep on moving through here. I think we're very close to being where we need to be. So this is just deeper into the spatial ruins. Oh, I see little RSP over there in the corner. So we're probably going to have to battle him coming up on that, which will be cool. Whenever we battle RSP, it's been a one hit KO every time. So I'm hoping we can keep it at that. I'm going to go ahead and use the black flute because we are almost out of repels. And let's go ahead and battle this person. Let's keep on moving through here. I think we're very, very close to finding Michael. I hope we are in the least. You know, hopefully we can bump into him and take down his evil plans. This guy is just coming up with, like, the craziest plan I've ever seen of any teams. He is capturing, like, the strongest legendaries and just wants to destroy everything. This guy has to be absolutely evil. Let's take this person on. So we actually do have a couple of our Pokemon who have been KO'd so far, but I'm just going to keep going with who we have left. You know, we do have Cheeky knocked out, Lanky's knocked out, but we still have everybody else ready to go, and I think these guys can handle it. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. I think we'll be flying high once we get there. So let's go ahead and keep on moving then, and let's hope for the best. Let's hope that this will lead us where we need to be, and what the heck? Why does the Black Flute not completely repel Pokemon? I thought that's what it would do, but I guess it only half repels them or something because at least we're taking longer steps in between bumping into pokemon but it's still taking quite a bit wait you thought you'd get to michael that easily no more mr nice pikachu i'm going all out on you i've trained myself to a high level which means you don't stand a chance here we go rodri versus rsp let's go ahead and take on rsp then guys and let's hope for the best now as i said to you guys we've been one hit KOing this guy like it's nothing let's hope we can keep that pattern up I, it looks like we're just getting this pikachu even more mad every time we ko it so i'm having a little bit of fun with it if this pikachu is supposed to be our rival it hasn't been much of a rivalry so far with that guy's pikachu has gone down once again i feel so bad for this little guy he should just like join our side or something i don't know what he's doing over there with team fusion I, I still don't have enough strength I joined Team Fusion to gain the strength to beat you to a pulp And it hasn't worked, I'm done with this I won't be going after you anymore I need to think, don't follow me Okay, so see you later, RSP. Looks like maybe finally he will have a complete change and become a good Pikachu. Bad Pikachu, always trying to hunt us down and chase us down. Poor little guy. Let's keep on going through here, though. A Routes, though. That's kind of cool. So if you guys want to add a Routes to your team, I mean, Routes are always strong Pokemon. That's actually a pretty solid addition. This looks like the area we were just down at, by the way. So we have kind of, like, looped around. That's kind of weird, actually. But we have finally made it. You try nobly, but you're too late. My lab has already prepared the electric beams to summon Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. There's nothing you can do except to step back and watch history take place. Forward, Palkia, ruler of space. What human dares to disturb my duties? It is I, your new trainer, Master Ball, go! I did it, at last! This is just a preview. The finale begins now, at the Fusion Lab, on the top of Mount Stratus. No point going there, we've already won. Team Fusion, time to move out! Well, guys, it looks like something bad has just happened here. Rodri, I couldn't save Giratina. Regina managed to catch it shortly before I arrived. Henry and I are meeting in Poultry Resort to review our options. Please, hurry! So with that, guys, it looks like our plan has fallen through. And more Pokemon than we wanted have been captured. And that is not good at all. It looks like 
We are in for a bad time going against Team Fusion because they are going to have a lot of legendaries on their side. So let's see what exactly it is we need to do now. I heard Henry and Blake were meeting up around here. Where are they? There's Blake. Yo, what's up, dude? Don't feel bad, Rodri. You've been a great help to us. Why don't you go get your seventh badge while we figure things out, okay? Okay, so there's Henry and Blake, and apparently they want us to go after our next badge. But you know what, guys? There are actually a couple things I want to take care of before we do go after our badge. Now, what is this place exactly? Fusion Co.? I guess you could probably pick up a couple good TMs in here. If there are any good TMs in there, let me know, and I'll go ahead and buy them so we can put them on our Pokemon. Now, one of the things I've been wanting to do, this is actually a suggestion from you guys. We're going to go ahead and make our way back to North Coast Town because you guys actually told me that the move deleter is located in the Pokemon Center in North Coast Town. So now we can finally get rid of the pesky move cut on Daenerys, you know, maybe Rock Smash and Strength on Cheeky. I think those will be really good moves that we can get rid of. And then maybe down the road if we ever need them again, we'll just go ahead and teach them to them and then just remove them. The cool thing about this game is that we can use the TMs and HMs as much as we want. So by all means, you know, it gives us the opportunity to be able to swap moves as much as we want. Where the heck is this move deleter guy? It's probably this guy right here. There we go. So that's the move deleter. As I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of a couple moves. So first of all, we're going to get rid of Cut on Daenerys. We haven't been using Cut much at all. So that's definitely a move that needs to go. I'll probably be looking around and seeing if we can teach these Pokemon new moves, by the way. I know that there's still a bunch of TMs we haven't even found. We, ha we only have a handful of TMs and a handful of HMs. So hopefully we'll be finding more as we get going we're only up to our seventh badge which is actually kind of surprising because it feels like we've been doing much more than that with that though we got rid of rock smash let's go ahead and get rid of strength too and then we should be completely good to go and ready to take on the next gym which i'm actually excited for hopefully our pokemon are leveled up enough that it won't be too difficult for us but if they're not you know we'll have to see i want a bit of a challenge in a gym and i feel like this will be one of those gyms that gives that to us with that though guys we are done here for today as as I said, next time we'll continue to Palm Tree Resort, make our way there, take on the gym leader, hopefully obtain our 7th badge. So if you guys have any tips and comments on what's coming up, make sure you guys let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys give this video a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!